My rooftop tent is a tool for me. It's a way to get out, enjoy nature more, spend time with my family. But there's certainly more requirements, overhead and burdens that come with a rooftop tent. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I do to make it easier and just as simple as possible, as fast as possible to get everything set up and to get out there. I've really liked using these REI packing cubes for bringing up just what I need that evening and the next morning. It helps me to save space up here. And then I also hang the full packing cube when I'm done with it up on the front support bar to get it off the base of the tent itself. One of the frustrations you can run into hanging stuff on this front bar is that it will tend to slide with the grade to the side and then fall down and end up hitting your legs or dragging along the side. That's where these split collars come in as a really nice accessory that you can add. They come as a split piece in half with two threaded holes so that you can take them apart, position it wherever you want on this top rail and then just tighten them down. So you can see that I've got one set up on this side, one set up on this side. Everything I hang in between will naturally slide over to here, but then stop and not go down any further. Specific to set up a few things. If you've got the inflatable mattress inside, pick up one of these Ryobi inflators. They work fantastic for filling it up really quick. They don't do so well for deflating it and getting the air back out. The second item is when you pop this open, you need to grab all of the steel supports for the windows and the front awning. At least for me, when I open up that bag, they're all mixed together and they look almost identical. So what I've done is gone in and I labeled with blue tape the two different ones for the front support so that I can tell them apart quick and easy. With my keys for the iCamper, I do a few specific things. The first is a nice big wooden tag with the key on the bottom. This way it's just harder for me to lose it. The second is writing on here the height of my vehicle with the rooftop tent on there. That way if I'm driving under anything, I've got a quick easy way to remember exactly how tall I am without hitting something. When I'm taking it off, I went around and I drilled a hole into each of the rails. So I've got four corners covered here and I've got little clips that go right into there and let me lift everything off. As far as the roof rack mounts, each position, I got this on my car centered balance where I like it. And then I went back and scribed a line on each side of the feet. This way, even when these slide around in the process of taking it on and off, I know exactly where they need to line back up with for it to be positioned front to back properly. The side to side orientation, I just made some spacer blocks once I got everything set and measured. Now all I need to do when I put this on is I take the spacer block for the front and back, put it into position, and then I pull it all the way over until it's line to line. Same thing here for the back. Obviously these dimensions change for each vehicle, but you can measure for yours and cut out some spacer blocks. The next piece that makes life easier with the rooftop tent is having a way to get it on and off. We've been doing it with a couple of us lifting it up by hand and putting it on the roof but I wanted something that lets me do this solo and safely. Building a crane ended up being the best solution for me. I wanted it to be temporary, very fast to set up and take down, and obviously be functional enough to take the tent on and off my roof. Everything's connected, but I have to disconnect the roof rack clamps before lifting it off. I connect the accessory tool to a power drill to do that. I've got it labeled with a piece of tape. This way I can count the rotations and I wrote a note on there so I know how many turns to get them open to come off of my roof rack without overextending them. At this point, you just start lifting.
With the car out of there, I've got a storage cart built for my tent. We're gonna lower things down, reorient it a little bit as it drops and slip it right into the cart. Now that we've got the tent off the roof, a quick overview of this setup. Everything here is built. The frame is out of two by fours, and then I've got some three quarter inch plywood to reinforce things. Obviously, if you're gonna build one of these, either do the structural math yourself or check with somebody that can do that for you. So we've got this main cantilever beam coming out here with supports there and there. Like I said, all of the aluminum 8020 up here is simply to hold it so that 8020 aluminum stays fixed to the house and then when I pull that stainless steel pin out I'm able to drop everything off the house so it's more of a temporary thing and not hanging out over my driveway constantly. We'll link below to this pulley system that we've got set up here. 